wanted to show off where I am with the uh, Bluetooth feature of ESP32 Gerbil. Um, let me reboot the ESP32. Okay. So it's connected up to my uh, USB right now. And um, you can see that it's uh, responding to commands over USB. One of the commands you can do is $i. And that gives you some basic information about the um, version, um, build date, and the options that are currently turned on. Um, one of the things you can do is add some build info. And right now I'm using that to uh, give a name to the uh, Bluetooth. So if I say $i equals ESP32 underscore CNC, Type dollar i again. It'll show you what I've set. So it says ESP32 CNC. If that is blank, it's not going to start up Bluetooth. If it is something um, else, it will start Bluetooth with that. So if I reboot it, you'll see it says uh, starting Bluetooth ESP32 CNC. Now that I have Bluetooth running on the ESP32, it's time to hook a device up to it uh, via Bluetooth. Uh, what I have here is a cheap Chinese tablet I bought a while ago. So I just go to Bluetooth. And you'll see that it showed up and I click on it. And now it's paired. There's no password at this time, which is a problem with the library, um, but uh, it doesn't affect the performance of the Bluetooth. So now I'll go back to home and I'll run Gerbil Controller. In here, I'll select the ESP32 from the list. Now it's hooked up. I can go and do a homing sequence. I can go in here and select the file and I can run the job. So now it's going to run the job and you'll see over here that the uh, USB is still hooked up through the computer so that is uh, echoing back all the traffic uh, which is kind of handy for debugging. So both interfaces are running at the same time. You could uh, stream the uh, G code via either one of them. Uh, you actually don't even have to have the tablet on for it to run. It will still stream. Okay, now it's done. I can uh, home it again if I want. And that's basically it.